Hello everyone, my name is Jay Martin. Thanks for watching TW Replays, viewer submitted game by Waffles. Waffles is over here on the right, and Waffles. And he said our center player, by the name of General Corbeau, is a madman and played a, a strangely aggressive game in the center of a 3v3. His army's weird. One, two, three, four militia. Four militia up front. Uh, there's three of the heavy cav. I've never learned how to pronounce this word properly. Curassier is my guess. Someone please leave a comment correcting me. Curassier. Uh, three old guard here. Four shooter cav. Really weird in the center. And then two young guard. One, two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Count the general. Oh, we have Marshal Ney. That's relevant. So we have 17 units. This is this is a little odd. Um, the reason you can't generally be aggressive that that aggressive three v threes can develop in a lot of different ways. But generally in three v threes, you want your lines to be kind of together. The reason is that if everybody's together, you can't get flank. Oh shit, he's running. Um, you, you, you if your lines are together, you can't get flanked. And the goal in a 3v3 is to turn an opponent's flank. So attacking through the middle is generally kind of a bad idea because you're going to break communication with your team. Something like that's going to happen. Uh, what's going on over here? An Ottoman with a lot of line of tree. Okay. I can dig it. Delhi Horseman. Don't know what that unit's about. I do know what Siltar Guard are about. They're the direct counter to the French heavy cab, the word I can't pronounce correctly. Curassier? Why are these cab charging? Okay, they're not charging. That was just a move command. All right, so he gets back into his formation that he seems to like, militia. Marshal Ney seems a little exposed to me. Are these guys trying to do some, like, shift to the right maneuver? This is actually odd. Okay, so everything I just said about how you normally play a 3v3 is kind of out of the window because of what the enemy team is doing. So normally you want to keep your line kind of all straight so you can't get flanked. But with this player lagging behind, he absolutely can crash right here. This is, a, this is odd. This doesn't happen very often. This makes me wonder if this was a clan game against a pickup team. Interesting. Okay, I mean, it, it, I think Corbeau here has it. Like, if he goes now, because the Russian is moving, uh, maybe you lost your window a little bit. I mean, Russia's not... Where I would suggest exercising restraint is if Russia gets in a position to get on your flank, and I don't really see Russia being there. So this seems like a relevant opportunity. I guess we kind of have to keep an eye on waffles to make this make sense. So waffles starts a fight. So that's a relevant part of the equation. Where are we moving? There's there's rifles in there. Ottoman rifles are so expensive. There's no melee infantry. That's interesting. So this guy isn't drag selecting his units. He's just um, right clicking to move them. That's interesting. And then is cab being sent by this dude to the center? Okay, so this is kind of relevant too. So if center player sends all their cav this direction, which they seem to be doing, this again opens a green light for this to happen. What is this cav doing? I gotta tell you, I kind of like the full militia. I don't know why, it's just a gut feeling. This seems like a really bad idea. Unsupported cab charge. 
against a player who's going to react, the center ottoman is going to throw it. Our, react, man. React. Square. Square. Oh, this could actually be bad. This could be really bad. Oh. Oh. I got to look at this player's name and... I'm not exactly into shaming or anything, but... Man, you saw it coming a mile away, man. I have... Okay, so this is, again, odd. Because this is a horrible move that somehow is going to turn out profitable. I don't know. Okay, so what are we actually doing? We're moving Militia in the Meat Shield. Corbeau gives zero fucks. Are they actually meleeing? Okay, here's the three old guard. They're actually meleeing. Okay. I love it! I love it! The closer you are, the better your accuracy stat. This is the J. Martin tactic I told you about. Get in close. Give zero fucks. The shooter calf can actually shoot... Behind the old guard, they will shoot over their heads and not damage their own men. I love it. Curiosay going in. This is some hot shit. Why are we squaring? Because he's melee charging. Okay, that's fine. The rally ability. Awesome. The militia actually... What the... The militia actually ran through? The heavy cav ran through and are going to turn around and come back? Okay, here's where you're paying for it, though, because the Ottoman Cav turned around. You're getting some help from your partner. This is a beating. Oh, watch out. Marshal Ney. Marshal Ney. Marshal Ney. Holy, like half of his army is in their rear. Uh, Siltar at 29. There's a square there. Oh, two squares. This might be okay. I like how Waffles is kind of covering the flank there. I like that. The shooter cave are actually relevant. You break them into the rear. Okay, so th the first part of the attack was brilliant. Where I think... Well, if this player's being so passive and letting this happen, what I was going to say is you kind of shot your load, right? You got your calf in the rear. The calf's not going to last forever. One of them's into a square. If this person learns how to hit the square button, uh, it's a little bit of a coin flip. I guess the young guard coming to play now. Like if young, the young guard position right here is great, that's probably Ottoman General dying. Yeah, the unit's down to 20. Or, down to 6, excuse me. Okay, Ottoman General's dead, so maybe everything I just said is irrelevant. Okay, this is the right opponent coming in to challenge him. And I don't think he sees that. So the Shooter Cab might die here. Wow, that's a lot of Siltar Guard. I think that's kind of an okay trade. I mean, if you suck all of Waffles' opponents... Cavalry, and I like how you're pulling back. This is weird. Militia back here can't square, so they're kind of useless. This is weird. Okay, Russians getting involved now. Might have a problem. What I do think for certain is that Corbeau here definitely... Well, I was going to say definitely traded one for one. Maybe a little like 0.9 for one. But the act of sucking all of Waffles' opponent's calf should enable... And it looks like Waffles is doing doing good. Should enable Waffles to win. I, man, I guess maybe a lot of them get out. The uh, Curacé coming back in from the charge. This might be enough to do it, actually. 
I mean, if if Corbeau in the center here emerges with three or four units left, that's good enough. That's good enough because Waffles' as opponent has a re is, is actually playing well. Is realized he's outflanking the Astor with withdraw back here. So if this gets wrapped up and there's three, four, five French units left, then you're in a really good position to win the game. And I think that's what's going to happen. We've even sucked off a couple of the Russian Cav. So what I like about Corbeau did is he had a really wonky army that he ran in there, but it traded efficiently, sucked in resources from the wings, which is going to make his teammates' jobs easier. He comes out of this with even a win, and you're in a really good spot. Now, I want to say that the opponent team, that shouldn't be possible against a good opponent. And I say that a lot, and I'm, sometimes I'm, I'm not sure that it's fair, but I don't think a good team lets that happen to them. Un, un, undeniably, three old guard and, and hitting you with all that heavy cat it is really powerful. I don't know. Sometimes I wish I could, like, there was an option in replace for me to grab control of one of the players and kind of replay it out doing things a little bit differently. That'd be a super cool feature. I wouldn't mind doing that in this case. This is a weird game. But I, okay, so let's actually count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess we gotta call it eight. So he came out of that with eight units. It's a really good position to be in. And sorry, bad movement there. Russia's finally get around to it. If I'm the leftmost player, I have no problem fighting this dude. But if he if he wanted, you know, if we were playing super conservative, this dude could just wait because all the action's going to reorient north south. Is what's going to happen right here. So that's interesting. Corbeau apparently has zero fucks to give and is just like, let's keep at it, motherfucker. I'm swearing a lot. Should probably stop. Good square. Good square right there. I like how this team is um, really supporting each other. I like that. And this is a huge opportunity. When somebody's mass moving like this, units that are moving just can't defend themselves. So this is going to turn ugly. I don't know what I would have done if I was a Sonoman. I don't know. Sending all your cow to the center to help your partner, like, seems like a good idea. But, again, in 3v3s, the best answer when your partner is losing is just to kill your opponent faster. So that means this dude should have attacked Waffles harder. Not that that would have been easy. But you either you either win the loser you either win the game or lose the game right there, right? I don't know. You're in a tough spot if your center player gets dunked like that. The corollary of engaging really hard in the center is super risky is if you actually pull it off, it it gives you a lot of advantage because you can either turn right or turn left and then either of those players is just done. Like, if your center player disappears and all, there's eight enemy units in the center of the field, and you, 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 you know, that's it. That's it. Super interesting maneuver, man. That was cool. That was way cool. What am I having that dude on my team? And the second general goes. So, kind of academic at this point. Um,. We can wrap the field up here. Let's do the satellite imagery thing. Uh, Waffles posted this on the Discord. If you, everybody's welcome, come visit us on the Discord. It's it's kind of cool, and more people are joining, which is making it a little more interesting. Uh, there's a player named Warren who uh, 
I want to get him to post a game so I can do a replay on it. But he has a YouTube channel that you should check out. And he posted one of his videos, which is kind of cool. So we're about done. Cool game. Cool game, man. What's left? Nothing. Yeah, Corbeau. I thought that was a really interesting maneuver, man. Um, I try to say everybody's name properly. Muigara. A couple ARM dudes here. Uh, we had MG Centaurian. The Master Wizard. And Ace. I like that. Short, simple, get it done. Anyway, uh, my name is Jay Martin. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Visit us on Discord. Check out the other videos. Have a great week.